In this lab, we will learn how to register a target database that has a private IP address. First, we'll create a private endpoint. If your database system has a private IP address, you need to create a private endpoint for it prior to registering it with the Oracle DataSafe. You can create private endpoints on the DataSafe page in OCI. Be sure to create the private endpoint in the same tenancy in VCN as your database. The private IP address does not need to be on the same subnet as your database although it does need to be on a subnet that can communicate with the database. You can create a maximum of one private endpoint per VCN. From your database's console in OCI, you can obtain the name of the virtual cloud network on which your database resides. You can also find the name on the database system information tab. From the navigation menu in OCI, select DataSafe. The DataSafe page is displayed. On the left, click Private Endpoint. The private endpoint is displayed. Click Create Private Endpoint. The Create Private Endpoint page is displayed. In the Name field, enter the name of your private endpoint. Select the compartment in which you want to store the private endpoint. Scroll down to the Private Endpoint Information section. From the Virtual Cloud Network drop-down list, select your database's VCN. If needed, click Change Compartment and select the compartment that stores your VCN. You can select a different VCN than your database's VCN, if VCN peering is set up between your database's VCN and the VCN that you select here. From the subnet drop-down list, select a subnet within the selected VCN. If needed, click Change Compartment and select the compartment that stores the subnet that you want to use. The subnet can be in a different compartment than the VCN. The subnet that you select needs to have access to the database's subnet. Optionally, in the Private IP field, specify a private IP address. If you do not specify a private IP address, OCI automatically generates one for you in the selected subnet. Optionally, you can select a network security group. Click Create Private Endpoint. A private endpoint is provisioned in the customer VCN, which is the VCN that you selected. Now we will update the related security list and network security group. After creating the private endpoint and before registering the database system with Oracle DataSafe, you need to update the related security list and network security group, if implemented, for your database VCN to allow traffic from the private endpoint IP address to the database system. This step is required so that Oracle DataSafe can connect to your database system. First, we will go to Virtual Cloud Networks and choose our VCN. Then we will choose our subnet. Now we will be adding to our security list. First, we will add an ingress rule for the database. We need to list the source and the destination port range. This is because the database, which is on port 1521, can receive incoming traffic from the private endpoint's private IP address, which is from any port. Next, we will add an ingress. Next, we will add an egress rule and fill in the destination and destination port range. The private endpoint, which is from any port, can send requests to the database IP address, which is on port 1521. You can manually register database systems with public or private IP addresses with Oracle DataSafe in the Oracle DataSafe console. When you register a database with a private IP address, you are required to select a private endpoint and enter the database's private IP address and Oracle Cloud Identifier, OCID. From the OCI console, you can select your database system. Now you can see the general information and can obtain the private IP address for the database. For an Exadata DB system, Oracle recommends that you use one of the scan IP addresses. You can find a scan IP address under Network on the DB System Information tab. Now you will sign into the Oracle DataSafe console. Click the Targets tab. Click Register. The Register Target dialog box is displayed. Specify a name for your target database. For target type, select Oracle Database. Optionally, you can enter a description for your target database. Now select the resource group to which you want your target database to belong. Alternatively, you can specify a new resource group. For database with private IP, select Yes, private endpoint that you created for your target database. In the OCID field, enter the Oracle Cloud Identifier of your database system. You cannot use the OCID of the database or PDB. For the connection type, select TCP or TLS. The default selection is TCP. In the hostname or IP address field, enter the private IP address for your database. For an ExadataDB system, Oracle recommends that you enter one of the private scan IP addresses. 
Alternatively, you can enter the private floating IP address of any one of the database nodes. Enter the port number for the database. Enter the long version of the database service name for the target database. You'll find this by running a SQL statement. Once you get the output, you can use that for the database service name. Enter the database username and password that you created on the target database specifically for Oracle DataSafe. If you created the user on the target database without quotation marks, you must enter the username in uppercase here. Optionally, you can verify that Oracle DataSafe can successfully connect to the target database and click Test Connection. Before you register the target, click Download Privilege Script and save the script to your computer. You need to run this script on your database after you are done with registration. Click Register Target. You cannot register the target database if the connection test fails or if the target database does not exist. Now grant privileges to the database user that you created for DataSafe using the privilege script you downloaded. After that, you are all done.